Greetings, boys, girls, and gender rebels. I'm Penny Underbust, and I just woke up. <laughs> Okay, so today I am going to do a super duper simple easy makeup tutorial. First I have to get rid of these lion locks, this lion's mane of, of messy nonsense. Yeah, basically a lot of people have been asking about my simple makeup looks on Instagram lately and I thought rather than answering a billion questions I would just do a super simple tutorial here on the YouTubes and I hope that answers all of the various questions you might have yeah although I mean if you have more questions please feel free to ask them down in the comment section all right so starting off I just grab my beauty blender which is wet and a little bit dirty whatever and my foundation which is Tarte Amazonian clay I really like it it fits my skin tone really well and I just sort of stipple it on my face I kind of put it everywhere it's basically just to even out my skin tone but I kind of try and focus it on areas where I have like little red spots or um, like blotchy skin um, this isn't a particularly full coverage foundation or at least it isn't for me in the way that I use it so I still have plenty of my imperfections showing through which I quite like um, I think it, it gives the face a little bit more depth and character than if you just wear a full coverage foundation, but you know, each to their own. All right, now next up, um, I'm doing my eyebrows. Eyebrows are a new thing for me. I, they were a complete mystery up until recently and I'm still not great at them, but wow, won't focus. But um, at least I'm having fun practicing. I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow pomade and I'm using my Zoeva wing liner brush which is like my favorite freaking brush at the moment. I use this for everything except smudging because it's a blind brush. Anyway, so this is how I do my eyebrows. Um, I, I, it's probably far from the right way to do them but it's how I do them and that's all that matters. Now at the moment, because I'm still kind of learning how to do it, I really only outline my own eyebrows. I don't really try and change the shape up or anything. Um, the eyebrows are one of the most expressive parts of the face though. So if you adjust your eyebrow shape, you can kind of, you can make it look like you have resting bitch face. You can seem more passive or more innocent or more vampish. Also having one eyebrow done is amusing. It looks like a cartoon character with her eyebrow raised. <laughs> It's just because though that top corner on my natural brow is really pale so when I draw it in it's much more obvious but it's it's always there it's just lighter hair. <laughs> anyway sorry what was I saying oh yeah eyebrows are really awesome they're fun to mess with and they change your face entirely however I just keep mine their natural shape just significantly darker. I would recommend choosing a really good colored eyebrow pomade one that matches your natural color but I personally like having really dark brows. I always have, ever since I was a tiny baby penny and everyone was all like, it's the 90s, penny. You have to have really, really thin eyebrows. And I was like, nah, fuck that. So yeah. All right, now, <laughs> because I'm lazy and also because I intend to smudge the crap out of this wing, I just use my eyebrow pomade for my liner. Um, I mean, if you want like a nice crisp edge, go ahead and get some freaking liquid eyeliner to use for this step. But I have this eyebrow stuff and I think it's really pretty and it smudges beautifully. So I use it here as well. Yep. I just go in with my fingertip to do the smudging. I mean, you can use a brush if you want, but let's face it, this is a lazy tutorial. And the whole point of this is that you can do it super simply. I'm kind of going for a bit of a grunge look because I like that and also it makes it easier for me to do stuff with my hair because if it looks like I'm kind of going for that wake up in the morning panda eyes it's okay if I don't do anything with my messy ass lion's mane. Um, I decided to go in under my eyes to kind of give myself an official panda look. As you can see this brush is just so useful for getting the shape of eyes. I freaking love it. It's again, it's the Zoeva winged liner brush. I don't have any like affiliation with them. I just think it is da bomba and I do not regret getting it even slightly. I'm not entirely sure how to explain what I do on the inside 
out of my eyes here. I guess I kind of make a fan shape with the product and then just stipple it with my finger. I don't blend this one nearly as much though because I want it to be very, very concentrated on that inner corner to give kind of the impression that I have a larger eyelid. I do have hooded eyes, so it is a little bit of a struggle getting product on that eyelid. And I find when I do this, it gives the impression that I have significantly larger eyelids, which I like. It makes me kind of look sleepy and yeah, it's, it's cute. I don't know, man, I like it. <laughs> okay, what next, what next? All right, yeah, this is just like a Too Faced lip plumper thing. And um, if I'm just going for like a lip injection, I think it's called, if I'm just going for a basic face, I like using it because it gives me kind of red lips because it brings all of the blood to the surface, which is how it works, I believe. I mean, don't fact check me on that, but <laughs> yeah, really simple. Just a pretty gloss. Um, I mean, honestly, you could just leave it there and I often do, but I go ahead and put on some mascara too. This is like the, oh God, I should grab it before I, unprofessional, unprofessional. It's the unique freaking transplanting gel. A while ago there was this big craze of like unique lashes that transfer fibers to your eyelashes and I was trying it out because I didn't want to continue getting eyelash extensions but I decided it looked really clumpy and ugly. But this transplanting gel is makes just a really pretty mascara. So I just use it as a mascara. And this is the Jumbo Liner. The most popular one that's used by like every YouTuber is the one in the color Milk. And it's used on like the waterline of pretty much everyone going for larger eyes. I am not going for larger eyes today. I am going for grungy, smoky, messy. So I just go ahead and smudge this black on my waterline. I think it looks really good. Yeah, it makes me look like I am, um, Actually, honestly, I think it kind of makes me look like Aubrey Plaza. What do you guys reckon? <laughs> I think it looks rad though. Big fan. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do one last thing. Because I have my freckles and stuff showing through, I have my beauty mark to the right-hand side of my nose there. Well, left-hand side for the flipped camera business yeah I, I think it shows through my foundation a little bit too much and so rather than hiding it I'm just going to highlight it a little bit with an eyeliner doesn't matter what eyeliner that one was Kat Von D's I think tattoo whatever any eyeliner works though. yeah so beautiful oh so beautiful <laughs> Um, that is, that is literally all I do though. It just involves a lot of smudging black crap on my eyes and my face. I mean, I don't even have very many products here. And you could get away with getting rid of a lot of them. Like, you don't really need the lip gloss. You don't really, honestly, you don't really need the foundation at all. I think the only thing that's really important is the eyebrow pomade and the winged lining brush. That's kind of the only thing that has any dramatic effect on my face right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my favorite I can't be bothered doing anything with my hair hairstyle, which are my chun li bun -lis, which basically just involves what you see right here. I have so much hair. Normally when you see someone do this hairstyle, they need to put like a rat, which is like a, a puffy thing in their hair to make it look like they have more hair and sort of pad out the buns, but that's just my hair wrapped over itself a bunch. I have so much hair, you guys, it's a pain. I kind of want to get a side shave because it's reached the point now where my hair barely fits under wigs. But look how cool it, it was that I could just easily do that. And it's so cute and messy and ugh, I don't even. Ah, I'm very serious. I think that's pretty much everything today, bunnies. I mean, most days that I'm too lazy to wear makeup, I don't wear any makeup at all, and I wouldn't go to this much effort. But on days that I do kind of feel like having something on my face, and I can't be bothered <laughs> actually putting on a full layer of paint, this is pretty much as much effort as I am willing to go to. Yeah, um, go ahead and like and subscribe, and all of those good things. 
um thank you for watching this video i think i'm just kind of talking at this point and i hope you don't hate me Ugh, there's like a weird gloss on my neck i don't know why whatever <laughs> from the bottom of my a little a black a heart thank you for joining me bunnies i'll see you next time goodbye i believe i can fly Meh. filming a video last night using my bathroom lighting and look how freaking orange I look. It's stupid. It's unusably orange and it makes me sad. All the color correction in the world cannot save me now.